Welcome to Geek Out of Home. Where we do things... Differently. This is our slice of paradise. 250 mature olive trees and a big white house up here on the hill. And a high-tech fab lab down in the town. We run a small IT business, brew alcohol, press olives, teach young geeks, <laughs> grow fruit and veg, hunt, farm chickens, and experiment. But today on Geeko Farm, there are signs around here that the weather's not so good. The chickens trying to get in through the cat flap is a good clue, as are small branches blowing past the windows. It's a bit windy at the moment. It was even windier earlier. And as we say in New Zealand, bugger. The weather has improved. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. The sky is blue. Time for some chainsaw action. We go for the full safety kit. Helmet, chaps, gloves, steel toes, and a well-maintained chainsaw. Because you never quite know when you're gonna need them. That should do for now. Now we can rescue these bricks. Because I've got plans for them. Bloody stupid place for an incinerator anyway. Every single brick broken in half. It's remarkably difficult to make something that directs an airflow using only broken corner bits. Plus the wind's getting up. I might have to rethink this idea. So we're going to build a hay bale garden. First step, unload 10 hay bales. Time for beer? Always time for beer. hay bale garden up with uh, wood chips and garden waste chopped up at the bottom to give it some good drainage. But for that we need a chipper. It's a bit heavy to get out unless there's only uh, the two women, myself and the dog. We'll get the crane. Set it to half a ton. That moved very nice and easily. Perhaps some chocks would be in order. Oh no, there is a kitten.
And we have liftoff. We have liftoff. Great noise, eh? Now to show the olive trees what happens when they fall on my incinerator. Bugger. Well, when they said 70 millimeter thick bits can go through the chipper. I don't think they anticipated 70 millimeter thick bits of seasoned olive wood. Um, so I might have to use this thing seeing as somebody's borrowed my bow saw. Oh yeah, plus in the future then we're going to use these. And of course the battery's flat. And of course the spare is flat. Which is why I have two spares. Very nice, she says. Make it two bales high, she says. Something like that. Except now, some poor bugger's got to fill it all with dirt. Wonder who that's gonna be. And this is the lot. Oh hi. Look, it's all done. We've planted a few herbs and stuff in there, plus some little potatoes, which through the magic of the internet are growing into bigger and bigger potatoes and hopefully will feature on our Christmas table. It's working quite well. So well in fact we're going to put another one about there. And not forgetting of course a gap there about that wide so we can get the lawnmower through it. I didn't get to use the concrete blocks as planned. We'll have to save that for a later episode. Still at least I can have a cuppa during the power cut. But for now that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.